I'm going to show you in this video how to make basic configurations to Huawei routers using CLI commands in Huawei ENSP simulator. There are two main views for the CLI, user view and system view. To get access to the router from uh, the ENSP simulator, we have here two routers, as we see, connected to each other. Just right click on each router and select CLI. Once we log into the router and get access to the CLI, we are in the user view mode of the router with this prompt. Now we have Huawei as a default test name or device name of the router. So the other main view uh, of the CLI is system view. We go to the system view by just running system view command simply. Then press enter. Now we are in the system view. If we need to get back to the user view, we run quit command, press enter, then we get back to the user view. So let's make some basic configurations to the router, which should be done from the system view uh, mode of the router. So we used system view command, then pressed enter. Now we are in the system view. If we need to change the host name of the router, we just use sysname command, sysname, which stands for system name. Then we name the router as R1, then press enter. We should notice the change of the system name from Huawei to R1. Here we have a trap indicates that there is a change in the router. So if we need to make another change to the router, like a header message, let's make a header message to the router, which appears in the screen during login or after login to the router with a welcome message and um, uh, some information about the router. We can use command header, okay? If we are in uh, any point of the command and need to ask the router what to, what to write next, we just press question mark. We have here two options, login or shell. Login is um, the message that appears during login and shell the message that appears after login. Let's try both of them. Header login. Question mark. We have two options. File. If we need to import the text from a file in you know, the directory of the router. Or information. We use here information. Question mark. The router expects from us the text now. So the text should be written in this manner. This is R1 simply, as a simple message. Let's also try the other one, login, shell, information. Logged in successfully. to R1. Here we have two stores in the beginning and ending of this text. The text is between the two stores as a sign to the router that this is a text that should appear. So now let's test the header message we quit the system view, then we quit again the user view to get out of the CLI, then press enter to get in again. We have here logged in successfully, which is the header shell, which is the header shell information. The header shell information 
that appears after login. Of course, here, because there is no login authentication required uh, uh, in the router. So this is why the header shell appears directly. So if we need to make the header login appears, we have to provide authentication when we get access to the CLI. So now we are getting the CLI via a console interface. So if we need to provide authentication, we have to access the console interface and enable authentication on it. So we have to change that. So we have to get in the system view mode. Then we have to select the line console by this command user user interface console zero enter then here we have to enable the authentication if we need to enable the authentication we have to run this command authentication mode question mark to ask the router what should be written next we have two types of authentication triple a authentication and password for simplicity we will choose password question mark we have here nothing to be written so we have to press enter now we enabled the password password authentication mode so let's set the password after enabling the password authentication mode by this command set authentication password question mark we have two types here of the password cipher or simple cipher is to make the password that we will write that we will write in an encryption mode for more security, of course. And simple is to show the route, the password in plain text. So let's select cipher for more encryption and security. Question mark. Here we have to write a string for the text password. If we choose the plain text as a simple, we have from one to 16 characters. And if we choose cipher, so we have two, 24 characters for the password. So let's make it Huawei. Now authentication has been configured for the console. Let's test it. Here we have header shell message appears because there is an authentication required and we are now during the authentication process before we log in to the CLI. And the password is required here, which is Huawei. Enter. Now we logged in successfully and the header shell message appears here to indicate that we logged in successfully. This is a message that appears after login. Finally, now let's configure the router with an IP address on the interface that is connected to the other router. So we need to configure IP services to connect both routers and to, to test the IP connectivity between them. Let's do that have to go to the system view again and select interface here we have interface ethernet 000 then we run ip address command then the ip address simply as for example 10.1.1.1 and subnet mask we can check question mark to know what are the options we have. We can write the subnet mask 
in a length of IP address subnet mask, for example, uh, 30 or th uh, 29, which is the length of the subnet mask. And we can configure the subnet mask as x dot x dot x dot x in decimal notation, 255.255.255.252, for example, like that. Or simply we have the first option as 30 and press enter. Now we have the interface entered in the IP state after we configure the IP address. Let's, let's do that in the other router. We go to the system view mode and selecting interface Ethernet 0, 0, 0, or Ethernet, sorry, 0 slash 0 slash 0, and then IP address 10.1.1.2, and the subnet mask 30. Now let's get back again to R1 and test IP connectivity 10.1.1.2. Here we have a reply successfully from R2. That indicates that the IP addressing is configured correctly. And we have IP connectivity set properly between the two routers. So for now, we have discussed three types of basic configurations, which are host name and header information. and the console authentication plus the IP connectivity to configure the interfaces with IP addresses so we can set the IP connectivity properly. Thank you for viewing this video. In the next video, I will show you how to log in from a router to another router using Telnet and SSH. Thank you.